Last year I built my first electric longboard. Now I finally took the time to build a more usable and better looking version. I started off by 3D printing the carriage which holds all the electric components. It's printed out of PLA and has four mounting holes to later on screw to the board. On the right side is the battery compartment. I'm using a 3 parallel 6 series lithium polymer setup, which gives me 25 volts and a maximum current draw of 30 amps. To control this high current, I'm using a solid state relay. It gives me the ability to use a small push button to control the high current without sparking or contact wear. Because the relay might get hot, the bottom is open and I might even install a heatsink later on. Now the next part is the electric speed controller. It converts the DC into a free phase current. We can control the speed of these free phases with a PVM signal that we generate with a microcontroller. It's an Arduino Nano that has a built-in RF module, so we can control it wirelessly. I also 3D printed a remote that harvests the second RF Nano. It's connected to its small joystick. It reads and then sends this information to the board so we know how fast it should be moving. I'm using one of those big push buttons that gives off a satisfying click when used. Next to it is the battery display. I'm using six diodes, two red ones, two yellow ones and two green ones that are also controlled by the Arduino Nano that display how much charge we have left in the battery. To do this, I'm reading the battery voltage with a voltage divider at the analog pins. Next to it, we have the charging port. It's the XT60 connector that I can just plug in into my power supply, so I can charge a battery without taking the whole thing off. First off, the good news. I built the thing and it worked. Now, the bad news. I've killed the Arduino Nano, so I ended up having to use a Wi-Fi node MCU, which takes up a lot more space, especially in the remote. Now the second bad news, this 40 ampere solid network switch kinda doesn't work. Well, it gets really hot even at loads, like 10 amperes, so I had to install this heatsink, and even then it gets plenty of hot, which means a lot of power is wasted. And, after riding uphill for quite a while with the board, I think I've burned it, so it doesn't work anymore. Which is not too bad, because first off, it was way too large for this thing, and second off, the heatsink is ridiculous. It re reduces the riding height of the board quite a bit. So I ordered a relay. This is a 30 ampere relay. Now, it's quite a bit smaller actually than this one. For controlling high current we have two relay types to choose from. First off the solid state relay. They use MOSFETs to switch the high current. MOSFETs are transistors and thus have no moving parts and work due to the physical properties of semiconductors. No moving part means no mechanical failure. But the waste heat produced by these components needs to be dissipated. That's why we have a heatsink attached to it. The mechanical relay, on the other hand, works with two physical contacts. Inside the relay there's also a tiny coil. When a current runs through it, it generates a magnetic field. This magnetic field will then connect the two contacts. When the current is no longer applied, the spring will return the contacts back to its open position. It's a mechanical switch that's closed via an electric magnet, induced by a small current on a coil. It's rated for 30 amperes, and it's quite a bit smaller actually than this one. And I hope it doesn't get hot, it shouldn't. Well, we'll see. 
So I printed another case without the hole. I also soldered the relay to a small perf board with a bus that connects the battery and the charging port and also the ESC to the other side of the relay. The relay is triggered with this button and a small resistor to keep the current small through the coil. I also added another relay for braking. Essentially, with this relay, we are going to short a motor over a resistor to slow down the whole board. The only thing that was missing was the ESP. And so this is with everything glued in place. And if you test it out, power on, you see the battery indication on the bottom here, full charge. And if you try out braking, see this relay activates. This, by the way, is the controller. Now, I set the thing up that the server here smooths out the input. So if I accelerate, it takes a while to go up, but then it takes a while to go down. Because on the electric onboard, so you don't want sudden impulses. So likewise, if I break, it will build up, and if I let go, it will take a while till the break goes off. I might reduce this time. It seems a bit long here. While we're at it, let's take a look at the control here. The control is also 3D printed and held together by two screws. Inside, we have a battery, a small ESP chip with a perf board, and this thing here is like a two-dimensional potentiometer. I would actually only need like one direction, so maybe I can do something with the left and right, but for now I only need faster and slower. Here we have a charging port and also an on-off button. To mount the case to the board, I'm using bolts and torque nuts, also known as self-tightening nuts. They are a, a nut with a small plastic insert that clamps down to the bolt. This is really important because if you use normal parts, the vibration of the board might uh, loosen the nuts and the whole thing will fall off. I'm using rubber pads to get an air seal to the front and to the back of the carriage. This is just to reduce dust getting into it. I don't plan on using this in the rain, so it doesn't have to be watertight. But you can also do that with a seal around the whole thing. The only thing that didn't really change is this uh, motor mount on the back tire. It still unleashed this aluminium piece that connects the axle to the motor. I plan on also 3D printing it, but the connection here to the axle will be a bit difficult. I still have to design and try out this, but for the time, di time being, I will leave it at that. Now the only thing left to do is go on and ride with it.